Hello everybody, E here. Welcome to Top 5 Friday. This is going to be a new, there's going to be a new Top 5 list every single Friday from here on out, hopefully. Um, to help out with this, I have the next probably 6 to 10 weeks, roughly. I, I don't know, some, some ideas may drop off, some ideas may, may not, I don't know, it may add to it. I have about the next, let's say roughly the next 8 weeks planned out for this series. Um, it's something that I can sustain. Um, but, if you guys would like to see any top five videos, leave it down there in the comment section and I will think about it. Um, I will think about doing it. It doesn't have to be just books. It can be anything. If you want to see me do top five livestock, I don't, I don't care, whatever. Um, today we are talking about the top, my top five audiobooks. Um, I'm a big fan of audiobooks, especially when I'm walking, uh, while I'm playing Candy Crush, oddly enough. It's just a way to kick back and relax and still get some kind of content coming into my brain hole. So, the first one I want to talk about is 20th Century Ghosts by, uh, Joe Hill. It's read by David Ledoux, Ledoux, something like that. Um, David Ledoux, Ledoux, I'm gonna call him Ledoux, I think that fits better. Um, <laughs> it might, I might be wrong, but, um, David Ledoux is not good for everything that he's done. What I mean by that is he did Greg Isles' um, Natchez Burning, and it was awful. Um, his delivery did not fit with the southern aspect of the book whatsoever. He has a very unique style, and it fits really well with horror or more of a out wet, like California type, California or even maybe even New York kind of vibe to it. Um, it definitely doesn't work for anything Southern, um, which is funny because I think the guy is Southern. I could be wrong. Um, but I remember reading an article about him when I went looking up his, when I went to look up his other audiobooks. But 20th Century Ghosts is one of my favorite audiobooks because of his performance. Um, my favorite performance of him is in the story Pop Art. Um, it was very good, but the entire collection is fantastic. At uh, number four, I have Nosferatu by Joe Hill. Also, yes, we got two Joe Hills on the list. I apologize, but I couldn't I couldn't pick any but any other books than these five. Um, it's read by Kate Mulgrew. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, she's in Orange Is the New Black. Um, you probably know her from that. Um, but her Charlie Manx is one of the scariest readings. I have ever listened to in an audiobook. She nailed that. And in fact, the only one that's scarier is my number one spot. Um, but Nosferatu is a great story on its own. But Kate Mulgrew, in fact, I would even hazard a guess to say that I like the audiobook just a smidge more than I like the actual novel itself because of her reading of it. Next up, we have probably my favorite narrator of all time is Will Patton and he reads uh, James Dickey's Deliverance. If you have not read Deliverance, um, I highly suggest it. I highly recommend it. Um, the movie is good also, but the book by Will Patton. Will Patton nails that type of delivery. He nails the southern, I don't want to say southern noir, but I guess it's a very dark story. Um, he nails that southern attitude, and I enjoy. I really enjoyed it. If you're not into the whole deliverance uh, southern thing, uh, Will Patton also does several of Stephen King's audiobooks. He, <clears throat> excuse me. He's done Revival, which is fantastic. He's done. Uh, he did all three of the Mercedes uh, trilogy. Well, the Hodges trilogy books, and he also did the newest one, The Outsider, and they're all great. Will Patton is. Oh, and he also does. Um, some of, uh, what's his name? Robichaux. I uh, forget the guy, I forget the author's name. I know he got, uh, James Lee Burke. That's his name. Um, he does some of the Robichaux books. I'm not sure he does all of them, but I know he does a lot of them. Uh, next up is Of Mice and Men uh, by John Steinbeck, read by Gary Sinise. Um, I wish Gary Sinise read more audiobooks because he's amazing at what he does. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say he's better in audiobook than he is on camera, and I love his acting. Everything he's ever been in, in fact, the Imposter is one of my guilty pleasures, because that move, he was so good in that movie. Um, but A Mice and Men is one of my favorite stories of all time, and I guess it's kind of a running theme right, right in, with this, is 
not only are these great books, but these are great books elevated to the umpteenth level because of a great narrator. And finally, we probably all knew this was coming. If you know me personally, you knew this was coming. But Stephen King's It, as read by Stephen Weber. Um, it's probably the most bang for your buck that you can get, period, for an audiobook. It is such a long story told in such a perfect way. Stephen Weber had, is probably the scariest Pennywise I have experienced, even scarier than the new Skarsgård version. Um, his audio, his reading of it is terrific. Um, I have not read, I have not listened to anything else by Stephen Weber. Um, I have not looked for anything else. I don't know why, I just haven't. Um, unlike Lado and Sinise, that I actually went and looked to see if these guys did something else, and of course Patton. Um, I have not checked out to see if Stephen Weber does anymore. Um, Stephen Weber was on, I think it was Wings, and he was also um, in the TV adaptation of Stephen King's The Shining. Um, and I think it was about the time that he did The Shining that he recorded it. Um, anywho, but I... That's everything. If you have, if you listen to audiobooks, let me know some of your favorites down there. Give me your top five list. If you have your own video for top five audiobooks or any of the lists coming up, if you have a video, please share it down in the comments below and hopefully my followers, fans, all those guys will hop over to your video. Um, so I am inviting you, now is the time, if you would like to share your own list, please do so down there in the comments. But until next time, I have any, you've and you, this has been Top 5 Friday. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.